Welcome, lovely people. Today, we are going to talk about a case that is equal parts fascinating and terrifying. Have you ever heard of the bloody Swede, also known as Thomas Quick? If not, then you are in for a wild ride. This Swedish man was once a serial killer who claimed to have murdered over 30 people. However, as time went on, it was revealed that his confessions may have been nothing more than lies. What could have driven him to make such claims? Was he really responsible for these heinous crimes, or was he simply seeking attention? In this video, we'll delve into the twisted story of the bloody Swede and try to uncover the truth behind his confessions. So hold on tight, because things are about to get intense. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, and leave a comment below telling us your thoughts on this case. Let's get started. Have you ever heard of the case of Thomas Quick, also known as Stura Bergwall? He was a Swedish man who confessed to over 30 murders and was convicted for eight of them. But here's the catch, he later recanted all his confessions, claiming that they were false memories implanted by his therapist during therapy sessions. The case of Thomas Quick has been a controversial one in Sweden and around the world. Some believe that he is a serial killer who got away with murder due to technicalities in the legal system, while others argue that he is an innocent victim who was wrongly accused and imprisoned. One of the most intriguing aspects of this case is how it highlights the power dynamics between therapists and their patients. Quick's therapist allegedly used hypnosis and other suggestive techniques to coax him into confessing to crimes that he may not have committed. This raises questions about the ethics of therapy practices and whether they can be used to manipulate vulnerable individuals. Another interesting aspect is how society's desire for closure can sometimes lead us down a dangerous path. The police were under immense pressure to solve these high profile murder cases, which may have contributed to their eagerness to accept Quick's confessions without thoroughly investigating them. Overall, the case of Thomas Quick is a complex one with many layers. It raises important questions about justice, mental health treatment, and societal pressures. Regardless of what you believe about his guilt or innocence, it serves as a cautionary tale about how easily our perceptions can be manipulated by those in positions of power. 